The first step to run a DR exercise is to prepare the DR vault for an automatic failover test. This includes the following actions. First, configure the DR service to perform an automatic failover in the event the primary vault is no longer available. Then, trigger a full replication of data from the primary vault to the DR vault. Let's review each action in detail. Enable automatic failover on the DR vault. Log in to the DR vault server using the local Windows administrator. Open the Windows File Explorer and navigate to the configuration directory in the folder where the disaster recovery module was installed. The default location is presented on the screen. Double-click the padr.ini file to edit it in Notepad. First, delete the last two lines of the file that indicate the log number and timestamp of the last successful replication. Deleting the last two lines triggers a full replication when we restart the disaster recovery service, ensuring we have the most up-to-date data on the DR vault. Then change the Enable Failover setting to Yes. By setting Enable Failover to Yes, the DR service executes an automatic failover in case the primary vault is no longer available. Make sure that Enable DB Sync is set to Yes to ensure the vault data and metadata are synced before executing a failover. It is also important to consider the check interval, check retries count, and check retries interval parameters. These parameters determine the maximum length of time it takes for the DR service to validate that the primary vault is down and to execute an automatic failover. In this example, using the default settings, the DR service will execute an automatic failover after no more than 210 seconds from the moment the primary vault went offline. We will see this later in the demonstration. Lastly, note the failover mode is set to No. Do not change this setting, as it will change automatically after the failover test is complete. Save the file and exit Notepad. Trigger a full replication to the DR vault. The second and last action in preparing for an automatic failover test is to trigger a full replication of data from the primary vault to the DR vault. To do this, we restart the disaster recovery service. The service reads the changes we made to the padr.ini file in the previous step and begins a full replication of the data from the primary site. In the DR server, open the Windows Service applet and scroll until you find the CyberArk Vault Disaster Recovery Service. Restart the service. Open the padr.log file and periodically check for log updates to confirm the Disaster Recovery Service has completed the full replication of data from the primary vault. You can also monitor the log in real time by opening PowerShell and running the following command. Keep monitoring the log in real time during the duration of the exercise. During this exercise, you should see entries with informational codes regarding the replication of safes and at the end, a message stating that replicate ended. Once you see this message, begin the next step of the exercise. Watch additional CyberArk videos to learn how to perform other steps of the exercise in detail. For more information, check out our online resources.